close those walls in. Or we're gonna see that keep away from Twixie make, you know, why do you want not even to even approach this man? Not even the same property, not even the same zip code. Just keep him across. <laughs> He's keeping him out. No ins. Alright, Twixie didn't even know. If Twixie had a burger chain, it'd be called out and out. <laughs> I got it. That was a funny. <laughs> I'm a great guy. So this is this is wild. The fact that Whitey has had to fight all these chandelures just to get to where he's at right now. You can't break some houses up, break some chandeliers. And this is winners. This is this we could potentially see Whitey go to Grants. Sit in Grants, healthy. Like the Pokemon Lucha Chu he is. This man went to the Pokemon Center and now he's you know fighting fit. Challenger. Thank you, Nurse Joy. <laughs> All right, and here we go. The hype Whitey is ready and fired up. We got Libre against Shandy, a matchup he is familiar with, and a matchup that I'm sure Twixie is also familiar with. Here at Summer Jam 11. Exciting, Espeon. That's been uh, Twixie's true uh, true support. The advantage of Espeon is being able to go for overheat, then immediately get out of his debuff state by Espeoning, and then going once again into overheat. And Whitey White decided to go Toga Kiss here so that he can make his approach much easier by moving faster. As you guys see that Whitey White's movement is not the fastest in the world. Uh, well, technically, Libre's movement is not the fastest on the ground. Whoa! Ooh, that's, I like that's some fancy stuff. That's new. But what was important about that is that he took away Togekiss and gave a defense to that. But forward Y, he's a giant ball around Whitey White, able to get what he needs here. Oh, in and out real quick. Getting a little nice bite. Look at all these mix-ups going on right now. Twitchy keeping him in the corner. Oh, I actually expected the uh, the spark at that point because I would have gone through AY. Overheat. It's gonna do a good amount. So Whitey White does have burst ready, and then still Twitchy getting some health back with Espeon. And his debuff stays out, so he still can overheat once it shifts into uh, kill phase. Wow! Look at all these homings. Homing burst! He has to, with 12 seconds on the clock, he kinda has to. tuxi has been holding that the entire time to just go for right for minimize. Once it happens, that relentless pressure getting stuffed by overheat. He thanks to Espeon giving him his regular quote unquote state back by taking away those debuffs. Twixie looking really good right now. Not looking no. phased at all. Whitey just trying to collect himself, clenching his fists, weighing his options. And there it is. Nice use of double team there to get in and nice net. He's gonna put it up against a wall here. Oh, Twixie has been using block a lot, but it's now starting to get a situation where maybe he start with a grab. Oh, nice block there. Sometimes you just gotta hold that down. Oh, getting caught with 8Y. See, that is something Solitaire should have did in Whitey White or match earlier, how good that 8Y is. Whitey caught him out of that. Oh, voiding! I like that a lot. That spark, even though it didn't block anything, I got him down to the ground safely. Uh, he j wide way too early in that one, expecting him to go in the air to go make a good air-to-air -air move. Try to hit him with the jump homing there. Oh, getting caught with the Hex. Gonna do a, a good number on him. Waits for the reaction burst. Tries to get him with the jump laser. Fully charged. Oh! And Twixie opening him up with overheat. That was a very quick first match. Well, not really very quick. That actually took quite a while. Uh, but it was a 2-0 two, well, two that round from Twixie. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we're going to see a little bit of patience out of Whitey White. And that's very good. And I'm happy that he's making the smart decision here with choosing to go back to the character selector screen. And I keep saying all the time, why do I say this is a good choice? Because it just is, is common sense. You want to recollect yourself and let your opponent sizzle out. Because right now, there's a lot of hype and, you know, motivation going on. He's got all this momentum, all right? And you gotta let that just kind of just flatline a little bit, you know? 
Let that ego deflate. Well, not really ego, but like the hot air just deflate. Yes. And just like I bring them down to earth, make them waste their time. Because you know what that makes them? It makes them antsy. Exactly. They're like, why is he pressing the timer? Why do I gotta wait? It says I'm ready. Come on, press the button. Press the button. Here you are. You're just gonna like. I'm not. You're like. I'm just gonna let the timer waste out. He's not gonna know. In uh, that well, first psych out matters. Like it's a, this yeah. game is all about mental game. Alright, so here we go. And he decides to switch his support too to Snivy. And... Ooh, okay. Using 2x to get in. I like the movement on Twix, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Grab him on a double team! That was interesting. Which one did he grab? All three? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big arm, look at those arms. Holding on to counterattack a little bit too long and get punished for it. Isn't that counterattack? Like minus on block. I like that he didn't have to hold it. He realized. Uh, first in his face. Oh no! He should have just jumped back and forward again. He's trying to go immediately for the spark. And now he's full screen and now has to get in. And now he's probably gonna shield broken and has no more support. Okay. Try to go for the grab there. Getting a punch for it. Twixie. They see the spark, realizing that he's probably gonna go for the AY. Oh no, Whitey definitely wanted to do something here. Probably AY. He's pretty nice. Ooh, I like that combo. Getting all the debuffs on him. Yo, Whitey is still in this lead. No, he is. Three seconds left on the clock, and he bursts in his face. Now, now this lead's gonna be taken by Twixie just in that chip. Just in that chip. Honestly, why well, should kept his distance at that point and just hope? Because being able to be that close to burst here, he's gonna burst, he's gonna take that damage, he's gonna want it. Alright, here we go. Setting the stage, getting that stage ready. Twixie doing a really good job just trying to keep him out as best as he can, just throwing out all of that smoke. Twixie trying to get that again. Counter piercing. Wow, that was a, a really interesting trade there. Twixie going for that 5Y because it's going to anti-air. He expected YD to jump back after that. And I think YD keeps trying to use that approach to land. The thing is, Twixie is very, Ooh. very good at using that uh, 2Y. Is that the little um, uh, last? Wow, okay. Minimizing to grab. Putting him into the field phase. Espeon gonna take away those debuffs. Alright. Really good movement on Lucy. Avoiding all of the ground game that Whitey was presenting. Over Yee. He's still gonna block all of it. Because that JY is pretty good on, blo uh, on block. Or even on like an overheat hit. Oh, and he burst. Did he, did he move? When minimize. He oh, oh, I thought, no, he backdashed. Like, no, he minimized. Oh, he minimized? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought he backdashed. I was like, oh. Oh, this man. Twixie looks like he's been definitely prepping this matchup way, way in advance. Oh, but he jumped right into the hex. Twixie with the advantage, and he has the time. All he has to do is just avoid any kind of damage. And Twixie is up 2-0. Here in your winner's final set, Whitey, we might see another character selection screen option. We might see him go back and recollect himself. We might see a like a completely different assist. Maybe he might go back to Jirachi. Maybe that's what he needs to do. Get that burst activation. But the thing is, Twixie is kind of waiting for uh, all these times to do things like minimize, trying to do things just like bait him out, get him blocked. And that's the thing that Whitey does not realize is that Twixie keeps going for block options very uh, often. He's expecting Whitey to press all these buttons, and Whitey keeps pressing these buttons that aren't grab, that aren't net, that aren't these things. And just keep netting him makes him have to, like, you can't overheat, which has been his downfall. Since he punished one overheat out of all these in the set, so, uh, two matches so far in the set, only punished one overheat. Everything else has been uh, hit him out. Alright, here we go. Now, of course, Twixie sticking with Espeon, as always. Whoa, okay, I like the reaction on Whitey White. A little slow because Twixie charged the entire thing. You gotta be careful about that, that's a very good anti air. Definitely tried to do AY, but I think he should have charged for CA. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
keeping him up against the wall. Nice hex. He, he doesn't want to just do the combo. He just wants to finish it. Just make sure that he gets the debuff. Uh, couldn't catch him this time. Try to catch him on the landing of Minimize. Whitey playing a little bit too antsy. They're going to get punished with well, counterattack. I, I think he expected the smug, not the CA. Ah, uh, okay. Because you, really, you rarely see Shane getting Chandelure's. Uh, Burst to avoid target. Hex. Oh, but he's gonna get punched with overheat completely. Again, Whitey White has to literally choose mm, when to be aggressive. Because he's, he's being aggressive a little too aggressive. And that's what Twixie's doing, is he's just letting Whitey White fall into his own trap. He's making Whitey White play himself. Well, Whitey White's biggest enemy right now is not Twixie, it is just himself. He needs to kind of change up his game a little bit, mix up grabs into the equation, but he's just kind of going for these blind aggression. He's not respecting the fact that Twixie's going for these anti-air options very frequently. Is that... Well, Whitey actually needs to use some low, so he'll utilize some lows in this situation. Go for, like, you know, two wides. That's... Could have been. Alright, so using Dragonite this time. Alright, good stuff. Blocking overheat. Whitey White's dead. Falling right into that setup. Chandler's will throw out AY if you if they want to bait that jump, especially when they put out the uh, fire trap. That was just unfortunate the spacing on Whitey White's part. This is a bad Ooh. position. Oh, okay, I going mean, in for again. Is. First you don't succeed, try and try again. Just out of range there. Okay, Ooh. good stuff to Whitey. And, and Twixie takes his winners solid. Like, that was a solid 3-0. Three, three Not a single match is one on Whitey White in that part. And Whitey White wrapping up his controller when he shouldn't because he's going to be playing his Loser's Finals match right now. Well, I mean, he might want to... I think he might be trying to take a breather or something. I would leave my controller there. I mean... Maybe it's, it's, it, it's just one of those things where it's it's a it's like a habit, you know? Oh, you're right. You know, it's one of those things. All right, we got some more ads coming up for you guys, giving these guys a little bit of a break. And see, I, I, look, from how Whitey reacted, he didn't even realize he wrapped up his controller. Like I said, it's it's a habit. It's, it's one of those things that you just do after a match just to kind of fill in the, uh, I don't, I don't want to say awkward moments or awkward in-between moments, but it's more or less of just like a, a simple filler. <coughs> so now he has to fight the sh Shanies. Oh, he's just gonna keep fighting Shanies. If he wins this one, this is straight one, two, three, four Shanies in a row. Fighting Soul Guitarist, then Twixie. Then Soul Guitarist if he wins, Twixie once more. It's a lot of lights, a lot of lamps, a lot of flames. And you can get all of those as beat sprites by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Get 25% off your next purchase by using promo code America is free. They are officially licensed by Capcom, where you can get all of your sprites, including all of your Mega Man fun sprites. And he has these new um, uh, Street Fighter 2 character portrait sprites. Those are pretty neat, nifty looking. Especially how weird uh, Dictator looks in that pose. And also, we got this Summer Jam Limited Edition Pokken Hori controllers, as well as the PlayStation 4. You know, I'm, but I don't know anybody that used PS4 on Pokken. But look at that nice orange and black game ready for the Halloween festivities coming up in the next few months. Get yourself or your favorite commentators a uh, nice Summer Jam Pokken Hori controller. So, doesn't uh, Bad Intent use a PlayStation controller? He uses like a weird adapter, doesn't he? I thought he did. But you know who else uses sticks, though? We got a couple people in the Pokemon community that uses sticks, and they might want to get themselves a nice Qamba Obsidian. 10% off store wide and free shipping with the code SJX2017. I really like that stick. Like, look how nice it looks. That accent lighting. Dude, it has lights! That's why I want it. Yo, send me Obsidian, please. Just give me one. I, I want to play in the dark so I can have my lights on the stick. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, you don't want your, your fight stick to light up like I mean, that? My